Hey guys, it's Matthew, and it's about time we got started on this DWC, this deep water culture system uh, from the last episode. I'm going to go outside, get some water for this thing, some rainwater, and uh, we can get started. The plants inside the flood table are looking really good, uh, really strong and healthy. I added a little fan in there just to circulate the air and uh, try to help the plants produce uh, stronger stems. So happy with that. Still don't have uh, any air really circulating from outside to inside the system. It's still pretty self-contained but the plants don't seem to mind right now so that's alright. The temperature in there is great and everything is working just fine. So let's go outside, let's get that water. That's frozen all the way through, so that's not going to work, once I wanted to wait for the ice to melt, but I have a plan B. Okay, so that doesn't look like it's going to work right now. I mean, I could get some ice, some snow, and let it melt, and maybe I'd have good enough water. But there are some things you can do with just ordinary tap water to dechlorinate it and have it usable for plants in your hydroponic system. As far as dechlorinating water goes, there's a few options available. You can actually buy tablets or chemicals to dechlorinate your water supply. Uh, these would probably be available at your local pet store and they'd be used for aquariums or things like that. Uh, just filling up a pail of tap water and letting it sit for a couple of days, all the chlorine in that water should evaporate within that time. If you're looking to do it quickly, boiling the water, you'd probably have uh, 20 to 30 minutes, all the chlorine should be out of it. Or even just putting the water in a bucket with an air stone, uh, bubbling the water, that's going to help dechlorinate the water quicker too. It should be noted that just because you're removing the chlorine from the water doesn't mean you're removing other minerals uh, from your water supply. There's probably uh, calcium and lime in that water supply. So if you're using an aeroponic system, a spray mist system, chances are that water is going to plug up your sprinklers a lot quicker than rainwater. So if you noticed, I just decided to go with the bubble method. These three uh, air stones are running off of one small pump and it looks like it's working pretty good. Even if you look along the side of the bucket where the air stones are bubbling, you can see that little spray that the bubbles put out when they reach the surface. And this, I'm hoping this will be enough to get the hydrogen wet and get the roots wet for the plants. For now, like I said, we're just dechlorinating, so I'll leave this for a day or two and then put the plants in. So that's about it for this episode. I know I said last episode we'd be mixing nutrients and putting plants in but we needed to get the water ready first. So next episode, I promise, we're putting nutrient in the water and we are putting the plants in the bucket system. So make sure you watch that one. All right, thanks.